Hi guys, so um, last time we're gonna we already uh, created a search engine uh, with the HTML and CSS that means just the user interface something like this uh, the search box doesn't work or anything but today we're gonna do a little bit um, more a little bit with the JavaScript so that we can utilize the third-party website for example um, I want to search for the words uh, right away for example love and I click on dictionary so um, I want to it, it me to it helps me to open a new tab leading to something like this all right leading to the Cambridge dictionary website for example and actually help me to search the love the word love or same thing, um, Google Scholar. Click on that and it will open a new tab limited to Google Scholar. Search for the word love, for example. So this is what we're gonna do today, okay? So the first thing I want you to notice is that um, if you go to the uh, Cambridge Dictionary website, you see, uh, if we, this is the word love, we have to check if we search for the word agency, for example, and it will give us the result um, to look at this so this one the last word is agency okay and the previous one is love so if we just type in another word like tool for example and it will will appear the result so we only change the word in the final and this one is the fixed uh, address of the website if you want to check a different word so just keep in mind that now let's get back to our code so for those who haven't watched my previous video please refer back to the previous one okay so after last time we have something like this uh, this is basically nothing it's just a nav bar um, bootstrap all right and then a very simple uh, search bar with some C and S right above here. Alright, so today we're gonna do more with this JavaScript. Okay, so let's start. Come here. Um, now we're gonna say JavaScript. No, okay, so we have to make a, a function, a JavaScript function that help us to um, receive the such word when people enter the search box you know the job have to remember the word that people uh, put in into the, the search box for us and then use that word to search in another website so that was our job function need to achieve all right so uh, the first thing we need to do is to say script tab and something like this uh, that means we will, we will define our Java, JavaScript function in this space. So I have two button, um, well, two link. One is for searching for dictionary and the other for Google Scholar. Okay, but uh, you can do the same thing with any other website if you like to search. All right, so now the first thing we need to do is to do declare a function okay so i'm going to call a function called dict okay uh, within this function what do i need the first i will declare um, a value variable that help me to store store this the word that people search document document get element by id now we want get element by id uh, something here we not yet define any id but something like that okay now uh, we need to find where the search box is and then give it an id which is a unique name so in this case the search box here this is the button and this is the search all right like the input so i'm going to give an id right here an id um, in this case i'm going to call search 
remember the id is the unique um, for the element and you cannot use it again for another one so this is the id is such so i'm going to come here and such so when people click such um, the, Jav the javascript function will store the such word in this valuable call x all right so that's the first step um, you can say store such word keyword for example all right the next thing we want to do is to define um, the fix the fix url okay the fix user url the use url that we use to such again uh, look back at this okay this is a fixed one so normally we love like this but we don't want that because the love can be we want to change different words so we're going to copy the fixed url like this uh, pass it in okay all right the next thing is that we want to add the this word that the user search right after this okay so well, it's pretty simple and what we can do is just say var url a one to example and then we just concatenate it together so url plus x okay so we have, will have a new url with this one and the word that the user search together all right so that looks pretty good the next thing we want to do is that uh, we want to open the website in a new tab okay and we want it to open a new tab so we're going to say var win equal uh, win window, window dot open now url1 all right and then we want to have plank Okay, and win focus. Save it. All right, so let's go back and check. Uh, I will open this in a new live server. Okay, so look for a sample dictionary. Now it doesn't do anything yet. The reason is that. You, we have to call the function so we got the function right here in javascript but we didn't call it when the people click into the link or the button all right so we're gonna have to de declare uh, not declare but add the function here on click so we want dict and the fun dict and the function all right so save it and let's go back and let's it again so um I want to search for the word mean, for example, and click. Oops, still it doesn't, it doesn't work. Let's just have a look at what's going on. Okay, so having a look at the code, I realized that the word valley. Uh, we shouldn't have these the bracket for the word value okay so that caused the error it doesn't work all right only a minor error but it's a very important one so let's go back and then let's click on what means dictionary and it works all right so the same thing we can do for the word scholar okay so we can just copy this one Function, all right, and here we can change one to scholar, and also you can you need only need to change this one. You need to find a fixed URL for the Google Scholar and put it here. All right, so let's go to. I already have it here, so I'm gonna just copy.
Frage weg. Okay, so there we have it. Let's check. Oh no, I need to de declare it here as well. So, scholar, we can do something on click and then scholar site. All right, what about teacher? I'll click scholar. Yep, there we have it. So um, I think that's basically a very simple search engine that we use a lot in other websites to search for us. You know, it's, it's just a simple one, but I hope you found it useful somehow. Um, thanks for watching.